Like, I like the graphics. Everything seems so real in my, like it looked like it's in my face. AR, or augmented reality, is using the camera on a device to project digital or interactive objects into your physical surroundings. Hi, my name is Caleb Jenkins. I'm a seventh grade social studies teacher at Akili Academy of New Orleans in Louisiana. This is my very first year teaching. I graduated with a degree in education, but this is my first job as a professional teacher. Akili Academy is a Title I school in New Orleans. All public schools in New Orleans are charter schools, and Akili is an open enrollment kindergarten through eighth grade charter school. The student population is predominantly African American. It felt like I was on Mars because like, they had a lot of rocks, mountains. The colors were different than on Earth. So like I said, we're working with augmented reality today. One challenge that I faced as I was preparing this lesson was how it would fit in with my curriculum. I was able to collaborate with my school's tech director and figured out that it actually fit in perfectly with the concept of westward expansion within my social studies curriculum. Water supplies are at risk. Replacements must be sent. The AR that we used was TimePod Adventures where students are able to explore and navigate a Mars colony in the future. We were able to connect the lesson because you have colonists moving from the settled areas of the United States into the largely unsettled areas to the West. The most fun was when I had to, go, when I got to control the time pot to go to Mars. Students who have behavioral or even academic issues would learn from augmented reality because it allows them to engage a different part of the brain, right? If they struggle with traditional written text, but they are a more hands-on learner, augmented reality can help encourage them because it is so visually engaging. We have a few students who have intellectual disabilities. It didn't stop them from being able to jump into this lesson and solve puzzles just like the rest of their classmates. It really helped that the instructions were given audibly and visually. There were captions on the screen and it was being spoken as it was told what their next step was. I think the most important aspect of managing augmented reality is being familiar with the content itself. So I actually went through the AR experience myself. A couple of fellow teachers and I walked through it together and then we collaborated on different things that we got stuck on just to try and anticipate what students might be concerned with or confused about. There are all kinds of Twitter feeds or message boards or ways for teachers to interact. So definitely reach out to someone who you think might have experience with augmented reality. The thing I was most afraid of was I don't have any experience with augmented reality, much less implementing it in a classroom. So having my tech director, Mr. Gould, there to help direct me was super helpful. Don't be afraid about the time commitment. It is something that can benefit your curriculum and student engagement, but it is something that you can implement at your own pace. You have found the optimal location. Would you like to start the drilling process? Our school typically doesn't allow students to have their phones on them while they're at school. Phones are supposed to stay in their backpacks. And so we navigated this simply by communicating with our administration that this was an experience we thought would be beneficial to students and asking for permission for students to have their devices on them for this specific lesson. We were sort of short on devices, and so this was navigated by uh, me asking students to group up into larger groups instead of groups of two. We had a few groups of three, but they were still able to navigate around the classroom. And then myself and a couple other educators were able to allow students to actually use our devices that we are given by the school on loan for that one class period. It would be beneficial to have a count of student devices ahead of time. Make sure students understand why it's necessary for them to bring in their devices or have them charged and ready to access. Even if your students don't have phones, even if your school doesn't have iPads, there are a variety of ways to implement augmented reality. Essentially, as long as a device has internet access and a camera, you are able to download an augmented reality app on almost any 
device, whether it's web-based, iOS, through Google Play. One of the first things that I considered was what were my behavioral expectations for students while using augmented reality. I then took those expectations and listed them out in a bullet point format so that students would know how I expected them to manage their voice level, how I expected them to be mindful of their physical space, and how I expected them to stay engaged with the app throughout the entire experience. It was a privilege for them to be able to engage in this academic context using their personal technology. But once they realized that this was an academic exercise, they connected the dots that school is fun sometimes, that we can do exciting things if we do it responsibly. Just in case I did have any behavioral issues, I had a comparable piece that students were able to do independently and silently. And then I had a conversation about why it was necessary to follow those expectations and about why they had lost that privilege. When I got home and started doing it, like in my room, it was really even more fun because I got like a big room. I got a lot of space. I can move around. The bigger the space, the better. It allows for students to navigate more freely around the augmented reality area. It also cuts down on any confusion or any uh, bump-ins between students. Since it's not synced between devices, students were having to swerve around one another. We did have them start at various points throughout the room just to kind of increase that space that they were able to operate within. Because they were working in pairs, typically there was one student who was more zoned in on the device and one who was more aware of their surroundings. And so they were able to help each other out in that regard in addition to the content itself. It was fun. It felt like I was on Mars. It had many different missions. I really believe that a big part of education is preparing students for global citizenship and for career readiness. So by introducing them to different ways to be fluent in technology and be comfortable with using different devices or different apps, we are further encouraging them to be prepared for the workplace and to be prepared to engage with new technological experiences that they'll face as an adult.